Well, good morning. Today is the last full day aboard the Voyager of the Seas for our five-night cruise. We're starting off the day at the main dining room for some breakfast. So we've been served uh, juice, water, coffee. We have been served or offered pastries, and we're just waiting to take our order. All right, breakfast came. I got the eggs Benedict, and I got bagel and lox. Tire God. An omelet with an omelet. Hash brown. Oh yeah, and gluten free hash brown. Also gluten free toast. Yes. Do you like your hash brown? Yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> Michael gets them every day in the one jammer and they haven't been having them in the gluten free section and I could probably ask. I'm just too shy to. So <laughs> <laughs> Claire just won a thousand dollars. I can't believe it. <laughs> she was about to cash out too. <laughs> this well, is crazy. Because I put two hundred in. I yeah. vouched for two hundred. I put it in, and I got down to like one seventy-five, and I was like, I'm not gonna do it anymore. If I got down to one seventy-five, and then <laughs> awesome. Claire won like over a thousand dollars in the casino on the slot machine. And I told her she needed to take me to Azumi's for lunch. I said only Windjammer's on the budget. <laughs> <laughs> but now I get Windjammer. <laughs> Not sure how that works out. So here's Claire's treat. <laughs> the Windjammer lunch. Yeah, lunch is on me. From her winnings. <laughs> but, but you got some grilled fish that look pretty good. Yeah, the, the butter sauce and then some mashed potatoes and green beans. And I got fried chicken and steamed rice. See, you're excited about your earnings lunch. <laughs> we were at the casino for like all morning after breakfast. We are just gonna be there for like 20 minutes. Yeah. And then I started to win. And against my better judgment, I said, let's skip trivia and stay here. And then all of a sudden, from the $100 that I put in yesterday, it grew to $200 yesterday, put the $200 back in. All of a sudden, I went the 1200 major jackpot, $1,200. <laughs> and then I kept going up, and now I'm kind of going down, so I'm, I'm cutting myself off. I'm still I'm still at a, a good earnings where I'm, I beat the house, so I feel good about myself. <laughs> Now we're on pace to try to get a free cruise with our casino credits. Which is sad. <laughs> yeah. But it's been fun though. We've had more earnings than negative. So yeah, we've we're, been, we're doing good. We've been doing okay. Well, I've been doing okay. Claire's been doing great. <laughs> <laughs> it's unlike me. <laughs> Much better than the last cruise. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know it. Sad time. They're kicking us off. Tags, departure tags. <laughs> oh man, we'll be back. On the same ship in August. So. <laughs> How long from now? Six weeks? It's like 45 days. Actually, when we get back, I think we're supposed to check in. We well, had yeah, like two days after we get back, I think we have to check into the next <laughs> cruise on Voyager of the Seas. <laughs> same. That's okay. It leaves on the same day. Same cruise, same stops. We left on a Saturday this cruise, we leave on a Saturday the next cruise. So hopefully we can keep it interesting for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try something new. Maybe. We did try something new on this cruise. That's true. So we'll see. We haven't really decided yet on um, an excursion for that cruise. So yeah. Claire hasn't decided. Yeah. So we'll see. Let us know. In the comments down below, if you uh, have any recommendations of what we should do in either Costa Mayor or Cozumel, yeah. or even on the ship. 
Yeah, we would love recommendations. So, yeah, definitely leave a comment. The sad part is, this is the first time we've actually been outside today. <laughs> we've been inside all day long on a sea day. <laughs> so we've actually spent nearly all day in the casino. <laughs> oh man, it was fun though. We, uh, Claire won a gr over a grand this morning on a slot machine, so that was pretty fun. And so today we are just messing around with a bunch of the different machines and, you know, trying to win more. But of course, when you try to do that, you lose more. So that's what we did. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, though. So actually standing outside the balcony and it's weather's well, not too bad. So we probably should have been spending some time outside today. But oh, well, it's actually nice outside. It does not look like it. Well, very foggy it's it's better than it has been okay it's so not as humid okay well i'm sure it'll be a rude awakening when we get back to galveston you'll probably feel like this huh? oh actually it might be hot because it's been over 100 degrees lately yeah but today's not so bad okay what are you doing well I knew I needed to take my dress out of my packing cube and get that hanged or hung up before I got ready for dinner. But when I was going to get my dress, I remembered, oh yeah, we leave tomorrow. I have to pack. Oh yeah. So I'm kind of doing, trying to get both knocked out. Oh, hmm, that's sad. It is sad. Let's go home tomorrow. Go home. It's been a great cruise, a great stateroom. Look forward to coming back. <laughs> <laughs> In six weeks? Yes. Something like that? Something like that. So last night after our stateroom attendant put the turtle in the bathroom floor it made us it brought us so much joy that i wrote her a little note this morning saying that it made us laugh and that we love towel animals and I was, I've been in this closet a couple times, but I just noticed we have another towel animal. <laughs> Seriously, I haven't even seen it yet. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Can't believe. And she also mentioned. Yeah, so she said that normally rooms get towel animals every other night of a cruise. And, but she says. I think, and it might be specifically for her that if there is a kid in the room that she'll do a towel animal every night. And then she said that sometimes the kids ask for a towel animal every time they walk into the room. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess she sees us as kids as heart, at heart. Yeah. So that's funny. No. We are ready for the main dining room, Caribbean night. We'll see. This is the menu that I am most apprehensive about. <laughs> what are you wearing today? Uh, this is another uh, special from uh, the boutique named Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a Chubby's polo for chubby people. I probably shouldn't say that because it's probably not for chubby people. But it's by Chubby's. Here it is, guys. The menu for Caribbean night. Last dinner in the main dining room. What are you looking for? My other fork. What do you mean? It's right there. I only have one. I don't know. You got gypped. Well, I did not get gypped in the fact that I ordered a Caesar salad and I'm getting a Caesar salad and crunchy coconut shrimp, which I was not expecting because I didn't think that they would make it gluten free. So I'm excited about this. <laughs> and they did. Look. Yeah, to my surprise. Two I shrimp ordered, dishes coming up. I ordered the same shrimp, but yeah, the wine's definitely different. Uh oh, what's the cheering for? Probably another birthday. But you also got the Caesar salad. That's what I ordered. Oh. <laughs> I should have left more room. It's mm. good. Very good. Claire got her salad. I was a little behind. I'm trying on to it. make it look more presentable now. <laughs> I've eaten half of it. <laughs> it's actually a pretty big salad. It is. 
Yeah, that's a good Caesar salad, actually. So, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Dinner's here, and I got the tiger shrimp. Claire got the tiger shrimp as well. <laughs> so, and then he asked me, the head waiter asked, so just let me know if you need another portion or something else. Well, Michael's been asked every night, you sure you don't want more? <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe my chubby shirt is for chubby people. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and for the final dessert of the cruise, I guess, in the main dining room. Claire got, I don't know what this is. Pineapple sunshine cake. Pineapple sunshine cake that they made gluten-free. Vanilla ice cream. And I got the carrot cake. Oh. With vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Uh-oh, what's that face? It's not, not feeling my it? Not my favorite. I mean, I appreciate that they made it gluten-free. I'm really missing like a decadent chocolate dessert. That's something that I haven't been able to get on the new menu, gluten-free. So that's what I, I wanted with like a really dark chocolatey dessert. This is really sweet. <laughs> now our head waiter is gonna be nervous. <laughs> Like I'm gonna threaten his family or something. <laughs> you have no power. <laughs> this is a super sad sign of your last night on the cruise ship. <sighs> Man, that's like, I don't know how to travel with just a carry-on, especially on a five night. She what gave, happened? Oh, she gave us a hug. Well, look at that. <laughs> we didn't get a towel animal, but we got a heart. That's awesome. She was really good. Very friendly. She was. She was probably one of the most outgoing attendants we've ever had. And she was always very friendly and approachable. So she's been a good one. Yeah, she's very funny too. Yes. It's hard to leave, but tomorrow we get kicked off the ship. We just spoke to some of our bartenders that we've been going to often while on this cruise and asked them when their contract was up. So um, come to find out, they'll be here, but something we didn't know is that they rotate. Yeah, they rotate to different bars in the ship. Which is kind of interesting. Uh, they said they rotate every two weeks. Two weeks. Which kind of keeps it interesting for them. So that's that's interesting. Um, but we look forward to seeing some of the friends that we've made in a few weeks. So we'll be back. And we'll bring you guys with us. With others. Yes, I can. <laughs> so we will see you guys then. And until then, we hope you enjoyed our first Voyager of the Seas vlog and we'll, we will see you guys in the next one all right see ya